How to use Apple Intelligence on iOS 26. Hey everyone, welcome back to IoT Jungles. Today, we're diving into Apple Intelligence on iOS 26, the new set of AI features that make your iPhone feel smarter than ever. So let's jump right in. First, make sure your iPhone supports these features. Apple Intelligence on iOS 26 works on newer models like iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 17, uh, etc. So you want to go into settings and tap on general and about. And in here, check your iOS version. Make sure you have the latest iOS 26 version and make sure your iPhone is 15 and upwards. Next, we're going to go into settings and then from settings, scroll down and tap on Apple, Intelligence and Siri. And in, sh in here, make sure you turn on Apple Intelligence. So turn on and then we go down here in Siri request. You can set the correct language based on your region. Uh, you can change the voice and Siri's responses, call help features and other settings. So you can go in here and make some changes. Now here you also have the chat GPT extension as, as well. So you can turn it on as well and sign into your chat GPT. Uh, for Apple Intelligence, you can, if you like to use suggestions, you can turn it on. Okay, so make sure uh, it is turned on. And another things to check is uh, ensure you allow the permissions like microphone and camera when prompted. So features like live translation and visual intelligence work. Okay, so let's try some of the features in uh, with uh, Apple Intelligence. So for example, if you open up messages and in here, tap on the contact at the top and down here, go to the translate section. And from here, you can download a language and then choose where translate from and translate to. So translate from one, one language to another language. And from here, you can start typing. And you can see at the top here, it will automatically translate to another language at the top. And at the bottom is one language and the other one is the translated uh, language. So here it's a translating to and tapping on that will allow you to switch between the available translation language or just simply English. So this is one of the features from Apple Intelligence. Another one is uh, so FaceTime. When you are making a call on FaceTime, you can uh, have uh, someone speaking another language. And if you turn on live translation or subtitles or captions, and it, it will automatically translate uh, the, the, the conversation for you. So this is powered by Apple Intelligence and works in device for privacy. Okay, so here on FaceTime, if you tap on the more button, then tap on live translation. Here you can choose to translate from one, one language to another. So Korean to English, for example. And tap on start translation and as you talk, the screen will show the translation up here. Okay, now I will show you visual intelligence. So let's say I'll take a screenshot of uh, an object. Okay, so I go in here and open up a photo, this one right here. So I will take a screenshot. And from here, I can either ask or use the search function. So if I use the ask button and I, I can say, what is the object in this screen? And here, so this is a USB-C micro SD card reader. Where can I buy it? Where can I buy it? So, so you can buy from Amazon, eBay or AliExpress and you can continue to ask further questions. Okay, so that is one example. Here you can tap on the search button. So tapping on the search button, it will try to search for similar images from Google or Timu. So here we've got Timu. You can tap on that and it will search for similar objects in Timu. Okay, so 
sometimes it doesn't come up with an exact match but for Google here it shows the exact match from Walmart or from uh, Amazon okay so here because I have set restrictions so that's why it shows website not allowed okay so that is how you can uh, use Apple intelligence okay and the next feature of the Apple intelligence is the smart shortcuts and workflows so in the shortcuts uh, app you will find new actions powered by Apple Intelligence, things like summarizing text, generating images, and automating tasks. So if you open up the Shortcuts app in here and tap on the Add button, in here if we scroll down and tap on Apple Intelligence, and from here you will find various things that you can do, such as create image, adjust, tone of text, make list from text, proofread text, we write text and so on. Here at the top, you can use iCloud based model or you can use on device model or simply you can use chat uh, GPT model. Okay, so those are the things you can do with uh, shortcuts uh, with Apple Intelligence. And some of the real world ways to use uh, these features. Uh, such as traveling, so you can use translation during calls or messages. Product uh, for productivity, you can use screenshot, uh, visual intelligence to pull out meeting details or uh, receipts. And uh, for creativity, you can generate custom images or emoji for messages. And with automation, you can create a shortcut that summarizes your Monday meeting, adds task, and sends you a reminder. They are all very useful. So in conclusion, um, we have had a quick tour of the Apple Intelligence on iOS 26. If your iPhone is supported and updated, these features are a major upgrade. Try them out and see what works for you. If you enjoy this video, smash that subscribe button at IT Jungles. Give this video a like and comment down below what features you would try first. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.